So you've got an existing rainwater harvesting setup and there's nothing more rewarding than capturing your own rainwater until you see it starting to overflow. In this DIY, we're gonna show you all the steps of how to install a second tank to your existing system and thereby doubling the volume of water that you can store. Whenever installing a water tank, always make sure you have a secure foundation. A 750 litre tank weighs 750 kilos. In this particular installation, I have a secure courtyard. If you do need to put down a concrete slab, check out our existing clip. These are all the components that I'm gonna be using to connect these two tanks together. We have two one meter lengths of 25 millimeter diameter pipe. We have a 25 millimeter T-piece, three 25 millimeter elbows, a ball valve, a 25 millimeter male adapter, a nipple, a reducing bush, some thread tape, and the only tool that I'm going to need is a hacksaw and a pencil. The first thing I need to do is cut into my outlet line and install the T-piece. I need to cut out a section approximately 25 millimeters. I'm gonna line it up into position, mark it with my pencil, and then use the hacksaw to cut through the pipe. Before you cut through the pipe, make sure you turn your ball valve to the closed position to prevent that water from draining out as you cut that pipe. By inserting that T-piece, I now have two supply lines to this pump and motor. I've got it going back towards the wall. I'm just gonna add some more piping to take it behind the tank and then bring it up to connect to the second tank. These fittings are very easy to assemble to a pipe. It's just a push fit. We redirected our pipe work all the way around to the back side of this tank and it's now gonna join up to my second tank. Remember, make use of ball valves. That way you can isolate the tank off and you're not gonna lose all that rainwater if you have a leak or if you want to do changes to your system at a later stage. I'm using a reducing bush from the outlet of the tank in through to the nipple, in through to the ball valve, and then the socket, which is gonna join that pipe to that other elbow. Remember, between the mating surface of the threads, you must use thread tape to prevent any leaks. When applying your thread tape, always go in the opposite direction opposed to the inward direction of the thread. That way, it will not unravel as you screw it into the nut. If you have one of the flexible hose fittings on your existing Jojo tank, you can also do this very same installation. The only difference is the T-piece. What we're gonna do is we'll cut into this line and insert a barbed section. That way you can connect up your fittings and carry on with the same installation. Here's one I did earlier. I cut the pipe and then I just heated it up with a heat gun to slide these fittings into place and then I secured it down with some hose clamps. That's it, the pipe work is complete. We've now joined these two tanks together. All we need to do now is open the ball valve and the two tanks will automatically equalize. The water will start draining out of this tank into this tank and they will go to the same level. Before you open the ball valve and equalize the tanks, if you are going to add in additional tanks, make use of the additional ports and add in a second ball valve to the tank. That way you can easily add into that line at a later stage. When it comes to the overflow of the second tank, you can just block this off as the first overflow will suffice for both tanks. There you have it, this DIY is complete. You've now doubled the volume of storage capacity of your rainwater. It was as easy as that. We've also set up the system that we can add on additional tanks without losing a drop of our stored water. If you enjoyed this DIY or found it useful, like it and share it, we'd love to see your feedback. You can also subscribe to our Builders YouTube channel where there's a range of product reviews and DIYs just like this. Send us your pictures and send us your comments, we'd love to get your feedback.